Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. With the holidays coming up once again, I've been asked to give a roundup of gift suggestions uh, that you might consider for friends and loved ones. And um, yeah, I just decided to look around my house uh, to see what I had uh, and, and, and you know started to think, well, what would I want to give as a gift? What would my friends and family members appreciate getting from me a as a gift? And the number one gift uh, that I might possibly give to someone that I love uh, is a sharp knife. These are awesome, uh, very versatile. Uh, with a sharp knife, you can cut anything, just about. I mean, depending on how sharp the blade is and what it was designed for. You could also cut yourself if you wanted to. Uh, certainly, if you're opening the gift and it wasn't wrapped properly, the person who was opening it could cut it. Uh, and they're a lot of fun to, to run around the house with. Uh, that was something that my mom encouraged us to do, my brothers and I, when we were growing up. Uh, so running with uh, knives or sharp objects, tons of fun uh, for the entire family, especially during the holiday season. Uh, number one gift suggestion, a knife. Sharper, the better. And the number two gift suggestion, fire! Fire is just as awesome as a knife. Uh, with fire, uh, you could keep things warm. Uh, you know, you could also uh, use fire to get rid of any excess paper. Uh, that you uh, might have, uh, you know, after opening the gift, then you could just, you know, burn it and, you know, get rid of it that way. Uh, fire is also uh, one of those things that you just wouldn't think about giving, but it's it's there anyway, and, and let's face it, fire doesn't really cost you anything. It's free. So, uh, yeah, I, I just happen to have a, a lighter here, obviously, to, to make fire. Uh, I don't have, you know, any other mechanisms, and, and plus matches, and yeah, they're kind of messy, and, and I like, you know, just being able to click a button. You know me, I'm a geek. Fire, number two gift suggestion. Number three gift suggestion would be a laser pointer. Uh, and laser pointers are awesome because you can shine them directly into people's eyes. Have you ever done that? Like walk through the grocery store and you see the laser thing shooting out and you can see uh, the, the checkers scanning items over. Doop, doop. If you've ever tried to scan your face, and now in some grocery stores, when you scan your face over the laser, it will tell you who you are. They've actually tied in your identification. Try it. Try it next time you're just doot, 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 doot. Plus, uh, you know, uh, the laser pointer then, you could uh, also take it with you to movie theaters. If uh, you're with your friends in a crowded theater and you wanted to point at something on the screen, I mean, you could point like that, but there's, you could just, you know, point a laser to it and, and everybody could see exactly what you were pointing at. So number three gift suggestion uh, is a laser pointer. A lot of fun. Uh, number four uh, gift suggestion uh, is bleach. Now, I'm obviously wearing a black shirt. I like wearing black things. I wouldn't necessarily use uh, bleach uh, if I, uh, you know, on my darker products, but I have tons of, of white products too, white socks, uh, white t-shirts as well. Um, and sometimes, just sometimes, on occasion, uh, I'll, I'll put this in my drink cabinet and, and not even think anything because it, it's kind of shaped a lot like I, I get chocolate milk and it's shaped a lot like chocolate milk. It looks a lot like a chocolate milk bottle. So I might also, you know, kind of like, you know, go reach for it and pour it in and drink it. Oh, I'm drinking bleach. Oh, oh, I meant to drink chocolate milk. Oh boy, now I'm gonna got to go get my stomach pumped. But, you know, a lot of people would use bleach for laundry, uh, potentially for, for cleaning other things. Uh, it's a good gift uh, to give. And, and I would be surprised uh, if uh, the, the person that you're giving this to uh, didn't already have bleach but could always use more. I mean, bleach is one of those things they could always use more of. Uh, and then the four, or I should, I'm sorry, the, that was the fourth. The fifth gift suggestion would be prescription medicine. Uh, now, even if the person doesn't have a prescription, maybe they wanted to get one. They just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, prescription medicine, just take some out. Maybe you've got old medicine lying around. You're not doing anything with it anymore. You might as well give it away. You know, re-gift it. I mean, let's say you, you suffered from something. Maybe the other person suffers from it. Maybe they don't. Or maybe you hear that they kind of have a symptom related to uh, an ailment that you had once and your prescription might, you know, and you have, have helped with it. Well, why not? Just give them uh, some prescription drugs. I mean, it's legal, right? I mean, it's prescription. It may not be their prescription, but if they, again, if they're getting uh, similar symptoms, well, then you may you may consider about, ah, ah, and, and, and who knows? I mean, they may even be sugar-coated. The, the pills that you use, 
um, you know, so they could taste sweet. So maybe instead of chocolate in their stocking, uh, you could put prescription medicine. There you go. Prescription drugs, bleach, laser pointers, fire, and knives. Perfect gifts. Not necessarily the safest gift you could give. If you're looking to give the gift of safety, you might think about giving them a website. Yeah, a website, but it's a service that they could use with their existing internet connection that will provide them a greater level of safety. And let's face it, how many of the friends and family have called you up and said, oh, I got a problem with a virus or I, I keep getting these strange messages from eBay, but I'm not signed up for eBay or it's not my username. So they're, you know, potentially part of some kind of phishing scam and you want to protect them, right? But you don't know what software to give them because software sometimes is complicated to install and then you, you run into compatibility issues. Well, again, send them a website. I've talked about it several times before. In fact, let me pull it up here in the screen behind me. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. OpenDNS. OpenDNS.com. Every year that passes by, the tools for protecting you and your home network, specifically your family who's on your home network, they get better and easier. And if you haven't looked at OpenDNS.com yet, take a look. Nothing to install. You go to OpenDNS.com. It'll give you instructions no matter what your ISP happens to be. They'll tell you how to set it up and how to start using it. Essentially, they sit in between your internet connection, your home, and the internet. And so when requests are going out to the internet from your internet connection at home, they basically pass through OpenDNS. And OpenDNS has these settings here. And in fact, they've kind of, they've simplified it. You can either set a, a filtering level, a security level of high, moderate, low, minimal, none, which isn't recommended, or a custom level. And what it'll do is potentially block sites that you don't want your home network to ever see. Phishing scams, uh, adult websites, gambling websites, uh, pot potentially hate or discrimination websites. Maybe you, uh, uh, you uh, want to block uh, your, uh, your kids from seeing uh, you know, certain kinds of, uh, let's say, uh, well, the list kind of goes on and on in terms of the types of sites that you can generally block. I'm trying to say, oh, drugs. There's a drugs website, which, you know, again, if you're, you know, going to give that as a gift, you know, you probably wouldn't use, you know, OpenDNS as a gift since OpenDNS is giving the gift of safe. Just let them know. Drop them an email. Even, you know, print out the web page, give it to them in an envelope, and they'll look at it and go, what is this? So I'm just trying to protect you. You're online all the time. You're worried about scams. You're worried about, uh, you know, getting attacked, uh, like, by these phishing scams. Uh, you're worried about adult websites creeping into your network and your kids seeing them. Well, here's the gift of safe. It's free. Nothing to install. I've been using it for, well, gosh, I don't even know how long it's been around, but I've been using it about that long. It's great. And the benefit of using OpenDNS is not only can it protect you from bad things or websites that you don't want your network to see ever, but it could potentially even make uh, the process by which websites load up even faster. Uh, essentially, it uh, caches or it uh, stores temporarily uh, the, uh, the information as it's retrieved, but not necessarily on your computer at home, but on their service, on the OpenDNS servers. They're essentially associating an IP address, and remember, an IP address, everybody's got one of those. Everything on the internet, or at least the web, has got an, an IP address. It's located, it's its address on the network. Like a phone usually has a phone number, well, a web server usually has an IP address, or some kind of server has an IP address. And they associate that IP address with a domain name. So, OpenDNS.com has an IP address. My blog, Chris.Perillo.com, has an IP address. DNS makes an, that match between the IP address and that web domain, that website. And when you use their service, their dedicated service, OpenDNS, things load quicker because they're able to uh, maximize the throughput and uh, get to the information quicker and make that data retrieval even quicker. So you're saving microseconds, but believe me, that adds up over time. This DNS caching is kind of a, a side benefit beyond giving the gift of safe. You're giving a, a gift of speed and sound mind. So uh, hopefully you uh, understood that I wouldn't necessarily recommend the products that I uh, was demonstrating in the beginning, but I am going to recommend 
uh, OpenDNS.com, especially this time of year. Just think about it. It doesn't have to be a big gift, but it may be a big enough gift. If you're thinking about getting a security software for your friends or family, um, why not save some money, save some time, sign up for OpenDNS. You don't even need to sign up to start using the service. You can to get detailed statistics and, and reporting of what happens on your home network, which is kind of cool too for geeks, but you don't even need to sign up to get going with it. It's easy to do, nothing to install, works with any internet connection, at least those that you can configure your DNS settings. Straightforward, even for noobs. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You might find my IP address on the internet. Of course, I'll give you my uh, <clears throat> actual domain names. We've got a community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. You're more than welcome to join us if you happen to be on the geeky side. And plenty of things to do there, safe things to do there, of course. And there's also my blog, chris.perillo.com, and of course the chat room, which has hopefully been providing colorful commentary throughout the duration of this particular video recording. Uh, tons of friendly faces here. And uh, we keep a family-friendly environment, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, since I, I have this chat room integrated with this live video experience because I'm recording this video live in front of this virtual audience, which you are more than welcome to become a part of. And uh, the only thing you have to do is stop by my website. Uh, it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.